Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you uh, a DIY uh, emergency solution to rappelling. Now if you, for whatever reason, don't have your standard belay device available and you need to rappel down a crag, maybe you're carrying some extra weight, maybe it's a rescue scenario and you're carrying another climber, you need a reliable way to rappel down uh, and still maintain control. So this is an alternative to using a munter hitch or, or extra friction monster munter hitch. So, and we're gonna use um, five beaners to do this. So I'm using a locking carabiner as my first beaner in the chain. If you don't have a locking beaner, you can use two non-lockers opposite and opposed, okay? So, but, but this is the primary one that we're gonna build it with. So with this primary locking beaner, you're gonna take two non-lockers, Okay, and stick it in. One, grab another non-locker, opposite and opposed, two. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. And then with two further non-lockers, you're gonna slide it over the top, okay? These ones do not have to be opposite and opposed, far from it. You want the spine of these beaners to be in the same position on the same side, okay? Then, with the rope you want to repel with, thread it through the top, like so. And then we're going to wrap it round the spine of these other beaners, like so. Pull it through, and then down through here. The crucial part is that the rope obviously does not want to press on any gates, okay? So it's running through metal here, metal here, metal down the bottom here. Okay, so now we have this, what is essentially almost like just a regular belay device just made out of several carabiners, but you want redundancy in the system, so it's, you know, you, you need to double up on these carabiners. Let's just pull a few more inches of rope through so I can demonstrate this. Okay, so this is your makeshift emergency belay device, or repel device, excuse me, made out of carabiners here. So you can see you can very nicely control the descent here. It's actually got quite a lot of friction. If I just apply just a little bit of pressure here with my hand, no matter how hard I tug, I really can't shift any rope through there. So this is, a, this is why it makes it a nice alternative to using a munter hitch. Um, it's just got so much control, and it actually feels a lot nicer and more secure. I mean, psychologically as well, you feel like you're repelling with a standard belay device. So it's actually very nice, and the descent is just so controlled. If you want even more control, um, you can put an extra wrap around the spine. It must be the spine of your locking beaner there, just for added control. It is going to pigtail the rope a little bit, but... Again, that's, it's your choice. Again, I hasten to add that this is an emergency situation. You should always try and repel with your standard belay device. This is just a DIY solution. So there you go. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, for more videos like this, check out obsessionclimbing.com or if you did want to check out that video on the Munter Hitch or Monster Munter Hitch, as Mike Barter would put it, then uh, head over to our YouTube channel or it's also on the website as well. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.